Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post beauty related content on this channel and if that's the kind of thing that you are interested in, please subscribe down below because in this video I will be testing another one of these palettes. So I've done the dark one and I've done the olive one so it's time to do the medium one which is this one up here. Um, I actually like these palettes. They're not the best quality palettes I must admit but this gift set was £12 for four of them so they re they basically are like £3 each so they're not going to be the best quality of palettes um, it's worth £24 this gift set which you can tell that the palettes are a bit less quality but they are nice and cute and this is like a box set that actually caters to different skin tones so we are on the medium skin tone palette so let me just get that out this is what the medium palette looks like. There's a nice like array of pinks and neutral shades in here. You've got a silver, a rose gold glitter. This is the palette with the glitter in, so it'd be nice to test that out. So yeah, let's just start this off. And they're not too dark, the shades, but I really wanna go in with this berry shade in my crease first. And I'm just gonna build that up. I have got the Beauty Base um, eye primer on already so let's just get straight into it. I'm just using a Peaches PC 22 and again we're going to go in with this shade here straight away. There's kickback. This is a lovely like raspberry shade. Alright guys, remember, trust the process. We need to put a little bit more down. Maybe there. I don't want to go too high up. Then I want to take this pink shade and just blend it out. I'm just going to spot clean this brush. I'm just going to focus on the edges. Then I want to go in with this matte shade in the bottom corner here, just below my brow bone. That shade in the middle isn't actually a pressed glitter, it's like a pressed pigment. So I am going to go in with that all over my lid because it seems like the best shimmer I have seen in this whole collection. So I'm really, really intrigued to test that shade out. Seems like it does have glitter particles in it, but you can spread them out nicely. There's a nice soft colour to go with this pink. And then to blend it out, I'm going to take this brown down here just to blend out the edges. Also to add a little bit of definition and complete my eye look, do my base and come back and show you the final look. So far this is what the eyes are looking like. I've put on my lips, in case anyone wonders, is the Ruby Luster Lipstick Liner by Natural Collection. Then I've put another Essence lipstick on in 101 Secret Life. I'm just loving the bright lips. I want to go in with this shade here under my lash line because it is my most favourite and gorgeous shade out of this palette so I have to use it under the lash line. I know this is a bit different but for inner corner highlight I want to go in with this like silvery shade here. Let's just see how it's got like a purple undertone to it but let's see how it works out. Glitter all around my face, literally everywhere. That eyeshadow on my lid is so like messy. So let's swatch the palette. Let's swatch this first row here. I'm gonna say like there's a duochrome. The one that I've just put on my inner corner has like a, a gold duochrome to it. Can you see that? I hope you can. And then we've got the row with the pressed glitter which is well 
it's not a pressed glitter it's more of like a pressed pigment so these three and that shade is just so messy last but not least we have the last row which has my favorite berry shade in there which you really do have to build up for your um crease to get it to that pigmentation final thoughts on this palette this palette is a bit more pigmented than the other two palettes well the olive palette i must admit but they're still not greatly pigmented it is a nice palette don't get me wrong it's got a good color story i love the shimmer to matte ratio because in this you've got more of and you've actually just got the two shimmers here which is the middle one and the end one and the rest are just matte so got a good matte to shimmer ratio you can do a lot with this palette you've got your pinks you've got some neutrals they're a bit more this palette just screams a bit more cool tone except for that orange up here is lovely the shimmer on my lid is really crumbly so it's not that great um but i think this palette is worth its price tag if that makes sense it's not an overly pigmented palette but it's not a really crap palette it's really nice i love the packaging on all these palettes so yeah i would recommend them and look the look is actually pretty cute so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please smash it huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.